Hits 105.5. That was Bananarama with Cruel Summer. Good morning. Welcome to the morning show. Hope everyone is having a terrific Tuesday morning. The local vibe with Sydney Alive is brought to us by the Moonflower Effect here in Sydney. And I have Miss Amy B. in the house. Good morning. Good morning. Alyssa's on vacation. She so. is. <laughs> and so I, ha- I had to laugh because she, she, she told me where she was going. And so some states celebrate their county fairs a little differently than we do and she didn't know that was a thing and I, as she's talking I'm like I bet you're going to the same fair that my daughter-in-law goes to because she's from Pennsylvania oh. and they do the same like it is a huge event and they stay the whole week this year they couldn't because Dessa started school on Friday but she was like oh you are the first person that knew about that <laughs> I'm like no that's because my daughter-in-law they do and my yeah my son goes they take the whole family the baby's only a month old they took her and so I told Alyssa you are going to have a blast and you're gonna <laughs> love it yeah we haven't heard from her. Oh, so I she's think we're going to text her. Yes. Text her. <laughs> we were like, keep us updated. <laughs> yeah. Because it, it is a big deal there. Yeah. And when I told my, my daughter-in-law that uh, Alyssa was going, she was like, ooh, that's a good fair. Like, she even knew about that's it. That's hilarious. Now, we go to our Ohio State Fair every year. Yes. And um, with 4-H primarily. But mm-hmm. um, we have a blast every time we go. Oh, I always did, too. And there are concerts that they have there. Yeah. They, I, mm-hmm. they had Ludacris. This year. At Ohio State Fair? Yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> Did you go? I didn't. I was at another, I was at an Incubus concert that night. Oh, so. Incubus. <laughs> That's good, too. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, this, <laughs> is the, this is the season of, of concerts for me. So yeah, it is. So I'm going to another one this evening. So, <laughs> What's this evening? The Ghost. Okay. I've not heard of them. I'll have to listen to them. They're a they're, um, metal Metal? Band. Yeah, oh, from yeah. Sweden. So, Ooh. yeah, they're fun. They're a lot of fun, um, but that's the concert that Benji Carl wants to really go to. So we're taking him to his first concert. That is sweet. He's been to Godsmack and Shine Down, but he didn't like it because it was too loud and we didn't prepare him enough for the crowds. And okay, all that stuff. but this is the first one that he's like, I want to go. He wants to go. Yeah. So we and surprised him with tickets yesterday. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> oh yeah, just yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. You guys are cool parents. <laughs> <laughs> Experiences, right? That's yeah, what that's we're right. Trying to do live mm-hmm. life. So, things that are happening in the downtown area. So, the farmer's market, if you haven't been down, you need to Mm -hmm. get down. We are overflowing onto the lawn of the market now. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's great. We, Mm -hmm. our market continues to grow and we love it. Um, We had people up from Dayton last weekend because they Mm -hmm. heard about our market Mm -hmm. and it's just, that's so wonderful. That's my favorite thing, hearing about how people are coming to our community, shopping around in our downtown and having lunch and then you know that's what we want right yes, that's our goal exactly and it's a great farmer's market yeah. so stop down everything's in season in ohio now mm-hmm. so come to, except for asparagus asparagus and Ooh. berries <laughs> and berries <laughs> Uh, and the moms are probably there too moms are this weekend yep. this weekend yeah, all right so get down and get your moms and get ready for that fall stuff yeah it's gonna be here before you know well yeah. we got another month left Speaking of fall stuff, the Historic Sydney Theater is putting on a Fall Arts and Arches event. Mm -hmm. And that will be a bunch of creativity and culture. And they're going to have live music and artists and interactive things. They're doing a Top Gun shadow cast. So if you've been to the Rocky Horror Picture Show, how they do a shadow cast with that, they're going to do it with Top Gun as well. Interesting. So it it is an interesting um, thing to do. And so there's going to be artist booths and workshops and then activities like face painting and chalk art, um, games, mural painting. They've got button making that they're going to do. And then just some live performances. And Mm -hmm. some of them are ticketed and some are not. Um, If you go to their website, you can look at that. I think the most expensive thing is a $40 general ticket that gets you into everything. Oh, wow. Okay. So, um, and then something new that hasn't happened in our area that I'm aware of is a silent disco. I know exactly what that is. <laughs> so, <laughs> are you going, Tracy? She's going to do I don't do know. <laughs> I love those things. You put the headphones on and no one yeah. knows what you're listening to, but you're dancing. But everybody's just grooving together. Yeah. Yep. That, I did that in Puna Kana. It's okay. so much fun. So, you've got experience. I you do. You definitely need to go and spread the word. Mm-hmm. So, um, but then performances, they're doing a film workshop with the Ross Brothers who did the 45365 movie. Ooh. Um, and then uh, the Sydney High School Marching Band will be there. And I don't know what Planet of the Little Green Men is, but it sounds interesting and I really kind of want to go. It's right before the silent disco. So, okay. Um, so yeah, check it out. 
It's a new festival in the downtown. It starts Friday evening and then it goes until Saturday evening. So a nice little thing to do. Is that this weekend? No, no, no. no. Sorry. It is September 15th. So coming up. We're we're moving into September now. So school's starting. So everybody kind of like holds off on doing a bunch of different events Mm -hmm. um, right around that time. Um, September 6th, we're having a Sydney Alive birthday bash. It's a Wednesday Mm -hmm. from 4 to 8. Um, we're doing a dine-in shop to donate, so all the mm. proceeds from that will come back to Sydney Alive. And um, we'll have lawn games out there, bring the kids. We've invited um, some of the fall sports programs and music programs. If they've got fundraisers going on, come mm-hmm. on down. Tell people what nice. you're doing. Bring your schedules. Um, do all of that. And then, uh, yeah, and the door is open. Just enjoy kind of the last tail end of summer before we really get into winter. Cool. <laughs> cold weather <laughs> it'll be here before we know it yeah. so that's saturday or wednesday september 6th and then of course arts and arches um on friday september 15th and saturday 16th um the market's going to run through october mm-hmm. um we have the open air dinner tickets are on sale for that Just right now that. okay yes um super excited it's on the court square this year it's our year to be on the square um I just that's one of my favorite things. The tomato mm-hmm. bisque soup that we have for that every year is just I've heard that. I want to bottle it up and <laughs> eat it all year long, but I can't. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's Michael at the spot and his team. They get their tomatoes from Crossway Farms and then they make it from scratch and it's just so good. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the Shelby County pork producers, they produce or <laughs> they produce pork. <laughs> <laughs> They do, that's true. But they do pork loin for us every year, Gosh. and it's Tony Bornhorst. And if you've ever had Tony's pork loin, it is just scrumptious. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Favorite, favorite event. Um, and then on October, or, yeah, in October, we're going into October now. Um, we have downtown sidewalk sales starting on October 13th. We also have the Chocolate Walk, which is part of our Booze and Brews Festival. That's Friday mm-hmm. evening. Um, there'll be a craft show that's going to happen like within that two days there as well. And then, of course, the Booze and Brews Festival with the coffee mm-hmm. tasting and the chili tasting. And that just gets us right into the whole fall. Yeah. Kids costume contest, good. trick or treats, the last day of the market. It's going to be a busy six weeks or so but it's gonna be a lot of fun yeah <laughs> and i've i've taken the granddaughters to that of that to the costume yeah. and it was a lot of fun you guys do a great job Thank it's you. been a couple of years but yeah it's, they should um, come again i know i think they will we did national night out that i had yes. camille bring the girls down and i was amazed at all of the prizes mm-hmm. and everything they did it was a really cool time that's a fun celebratory mm-hmm. evening i think with our first responders and mm-hmm. just getting everybody out into the community it's something free to do with your kids and just yes. I, you know we we have to have lots of stuff like that so if you want more information about the things that you can do whether it's free or if you're just looking for a date night um check out our website Mm -hmm. sydneyalive.org if you want to go straight to the events just do a backslash events um and then that that'll take you to the links to all of the events happening in the downtown area we try to keep our calendar up to date with not only our events but things that are happening like at the theater or Mm -hmm. if there's something special happening at one of our restaurants or shops yeah yeah, and download the districts app that I have. It's very easy to navigate. And, yeah. <laughs> and you can go straight to the calendar you from can. that as well. So mm-hmm. find a parking spot, like all the stuff. <laughs> yeah. So there's a couple of things. I'm wondering that shadow top gun. I'm wondering who's gonna play ice, number one. Those are the those are like the questions in I my think head. They've already published Did it. Did they Let publish it at the theater? I don't know. That's a good question. And then also when Alyssa was here and talked about the sidewalk sales, I was like, you're too young to remember. But back in the day, sidewalk sales, it's still a big deal. But I remember being when I was little and they had almonds downtown. And when they had the sidewalk sale, that was like Christmas and my family. <laughs> <laughs> my mom and my Aunt Donna would go shopping there. And us girls were very happy. Yeah. Me and Sarah, Oh, Gary. sidewalk. You know, Ron Anita's, oh, she yes. does a great sidewalk she sale does. every July. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, it just, that's... Sidewalk sales are we fun. Love to do, get good deals. Mm-hmm. I'm not seeing it right away. But they've had some really great stuff happening there this summer. Oh, if they you have. missed out on all the summer programming, mm-hmm. like, definitely check it out for the winter. They just wrapped up Phantom of the Opera, and I have heard nothing but rave reviews about mm-hmm. it. So, um, so many talented people in our community, from oh, kids yes. to adults. Like, don't 
don't sleep on the theater. <laughs> exactly. Well, and I got to interview a lot of the kids. I uh, Phantom of the Opera, Rent, and in Phantom of the Opera, there was uh, Ethan Jock who played the Phantom. Yes. I've known him since he was a little kid. He rode horses with my daughter. And so when I saw him as an adult and he had moved away and came back, and then I got to meet all the other kids from different areas that this is the first time at the theater. I thought it was so cool uh-huh. that they, you know, they had a friend that had been in here yeah. and they were like, come on in. And they, it was great. I loved it. I loved all the talented kids that we have throughout here. I can call them kids, even though they're in the mid twenties. <laughs> well, um, and I hear that you can catch him at Amelia's some Tuesday evenings for karaoke. Really? I'm yeah. going to have to go. I've heard his voice is absolutely yeah. amazing. So. Yeah. He was, he's a friend of Camille's. So okay. uh, growing up, Ethan, Ethan Jock was, they'd go see yeah. him at his musicals at Layman and, <laughs> Yeah, so it's great to see him, and it was great that he is was in Phantom of the Opera, and hope to see him more, and all the other kids I got yeah. to interview. Now to get Camille involved in some of that stuff. I know, that'd she's be great. got a great voice, too. Yeah, that'd be great. Well, again, <laughs> there's all kinds of good things that are happening in the city of Sydney, and again, if you want more information, go to the Sydney Alive Facebook page, their website, download the District, Acts, uh, District <laughs> app. Uh, it's District X, right? App. Districts that yeah. what she said <laughs> all right <laughs> thank you so much that was sydney alive's abb with the local vibe and it's brought to us by the moonflower effect well it's been so nice to see you, you catching too. up